if you get your views from television news you'll only hear stories that corporations choose you'll only get to see what they want you to see you're gonna have to read and decide what you believe we all watched in horror 911 the planes hit the towers and the towers came down did you ever wonder how they fell so fast well maybe that's a question that we're not supposed to ask don't you think it's strange there were no fighter jets did someone give the order not to intercept and if they really scrambled then why'd they fly so slow maybe there's an answer that we don't want to know and where was our president George W that fool he was visiting with children at an elementary school and when he heard the news he didn't seem concerned he just calmly read a picture book while all those people burned the bushes and bin Laden's now what's that all about while all of us were grounded they flew his family out Osama got his training from the CIA our soldiers took Afghanistan they let him slip away A new Pearl Harbor was their big chance to launch two wars that they'd planned in advance. Now we know they lied about weapons in Iraq. Did they allow the 9-11 attack? If you get your views from television news, you'll only hear stories that corporations choose. You'll only get to see what they want you to see. You're gonna have to read and decide what you believe. Okay, welcome to 9-11 was an inside job, another episode, episode 8, I believe, or episode 9, what is it? It was on the credits, uh, 9, I think. Anyway, uh, this one is going to be a good one. This has breaking news from all places, Fox News. But before we get into that, remember a couple shows ago when uh, Mike was joining us from PDX and he told you about... Uh, the Invisible Empire by Jason Burmis. Well, I went ahead and got a copy of that, and 
you're going to have to get out your pen and pencil, or if you're recording the show, we'll have the credits here. Uh, Jason Burmis, Invisible Empire. Uh, we're going to be showing it. Go ahead and show the credits. Um, Friday, May 7th at 1130 on Channel 22. Saturday, May 8th, 10 p.m. on 23. Monday, May 10th, 8 p.m. on 22. There it is behind me. You can... You can just put it behind me and then pull me out, just upper right-hand lever. Yeah, there you go. And uh, that's a new world order defined. And the next frame will show you the the times that I was reading. Monday, 5, 10, 8 p.m. on 22. And finally, Saturday, 4 p.m., 23. Yeah, I, we were right in the middle of playing some CGs, so I kind of caught him off guard with that one. Well, um, of, we're going to talk about a strange twist of fate today. Go ahead and come on back to me. Yeah. And you can put whatever you want behind me. Uh, the, the slideshow is fine. Yeah, that works. I like that slideshow. It keep, keeps you reminded of what, what we're talking about, how terrible everything was on that day. Well, of all places, Fox News, Jeffrey Scott Shapiro is the writer. And uh, as you know, we had, uh, you know, talked about Jesse Ventura's show, his uh, conspiracy theory show and his new book about conspiracy theories. And uh, they came out with this uh, Shame on Jesse Ventura article. Uh, we're we're going to go deeper into this. But first, the, what this centers around is... Uh, Silverstein, Larry Silverstein, in his famous statement, uh, pull it. Remember that? He tried to backstep and say that that meant pull the firefighters out. It didn't mean pull the building in a classic controlled demolition sense. So anyway, what we're going to do is we're, I'm going to show you a video that we showed over a year ago called the World Trade Center 7, The Smoking Gun. And uh, that's cut to on that other DVD. Go ahead and start her up. We're receiving uh, reports now of another building collapsing. That's right, Jeremy. A third building has collapsed. We had the collapse of the two main towers about an hour after the actual explosion, which was about 9.15 in the morning. If you wanted to calculate a time to cause maximum disruption, you would calculate that time as the start of the working day and perhaps the biggest, busiest complex uh, in the world. There were those two explosions. I was at the base of one of those buildings, and it literally shook. Saw the... Big hubbub going on around Building 7. Walked around it, I saw a hole. I didn't see a hole bad enough to knock a building down, though. I saw, uh, you know, yeah, there was definitely fire in the building, you know, but um, I didn't hear any, you know, I mean, maybe this is movie crap. I didn't hear any creaking or I didn't hear any, any indication that it was going to come down. And all of a sudden, the radios exploded, and everybody started screaming, get away, get away, get away from it. And I was like a deer in the headlights. And I look up, and I think uh, I, think I remember uh, pretty clearly the two guys that I knew uh, were on the transit radio. I don't know uh, if those tapes are out there, but I can, I can try and look for them and show you exactly what I'm talking about. But it was that moment, you know, get away. And I looked up, and... It was nothing I would ever imagine seeing in my life. You know, the thing started peeling in on itself. And I mean, there was an umbrella of crap seven feet over my head that I just stared at. And somebody grabbed my shoulder and I started running and the shit's hitting the ground behind me. And uh, the whole time you're hearing thum, 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 thum. 